Okay, so for these mixed stoichiometry problems, the first thing I'm going to do is identify what I'm given and identify the unknown. So how many moles of oxygen are produced when three moles of potassium chlorate decompose completely? So my given is three moles of potassium chlorate. I'm going to identify that in my equation as well. And I want to know how many moles of oxygen are produced. So I'm going to be right here. Now, the nice thing is that it's giving it to me in moles. So I can go ahead and start with my given of 3.0 moles of potassium chlorate, and I want to get two moles of oxygen. So I'm gonna use my mole to mole ratio. And so according to my mole to mole ratio, two KClO3, and I wanna to get two oxygen and my balanced equation is three oxygen and that's going to be in moles and that means that this answer right here is in moles of oxygen so this is actually just a one-step problem and then my answer is 4.5 moles of O2. On our next problem I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to identify what I'm given so how many grams of carbon dioxide are produced when 88 grams of oxygen are reacted with. So I'm gonna highlight what I'm given in yellow, and I'm going to identify what I'm being asked for, which is how many grams of CO2. So that's in blue. So I'm always going to start with what I'm given, which is 88 grams of oxygen. I have to get to a different material, and the only way to get to a different material is my mole-to-mole -mole ratio. But I'm in grams right now. So my first step is going to be converting grams to moles. So how much does one mole of oxygen weigh? I use my molar mass, which is 32 grams. That right there is going to get my answer into moles of oxygen. So I have 2.75 moles of oxygen. Now I need to get to carbon dioxide. So I'm going to use my mole to mole ratio from my balanced equation. According to my balance equation, 13 moles of oxygen is going to react with 8 moles of CO2. So that's going to tell me how many moles of CO2 are going to be produced. So I have 1.69 moles of carbon dioxide, but it wants to know grams. So I'm going to use the molar mass of carbon dioxide. One mole of carbon dioxide has a molar mass of 44 0.011 grams. I'm going to take that 1.69 and multiply it by that molar mass and my answer is 74.38 grams of CO2 will be produced. Finally, for the last problem, how many grams of hydrogen will be produced when 6.0 moles of oxygen are produced? So here's my given highlighted in yellow. I want to know my grams of hydrogen, and that is highlighted in blue. So I always start with what I'm given, 6.0 moles of oxygen. Since I'm in moles, I can go ahead and use my mole-to-mole -mole ratio, which says that one mole of oxygen, I'm using the coefficient from here, is going to produce two moles of H2. So that will tell me how many moles of H2 are going to be produced. So that would be 12 moles of H2. Now I want to get to grams of hydrogen, so I need to use the ratio that one mole of any material is equal to its molar mass, which is 2.02 grams. So I get 24.24 grams of oxygen. My last problem says how many grams of water are required to produce 9 grams of hydrogen. So I've highlighted what I've been given, and I've highlighted what I want to get to. So I've been given 9.00 grams of hydrogen. My only way to get to water is to be in moles. So I need to convert this number of grams to moles, and I use my molar mass. So 2.02 grams is one mole of hydrogen. So this will tell me how many moles of hydrogen I have. So I have 4.46 moles of hydrogen. Now I need to get to water. So I use my balanced equation. 
I don't want hydrogen anymore, so it goes on the bottom. I want to get to water, so it goes on the top. So I'm going to put a two in front of the water, and I have a two in front of the H2, so I'm gonna put a two there. Basically, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So 4.46 moles of water would be produced, but it wants to know in grams, so I need to use my molar mass, and one mole of water is 18.02 grams. So now I'm going to take that 4.46 moles and multiply it by 18.02 to get my mass of water. And I get 80.37 grams of water.